Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to go over the top 20 most common types of cyber attacks and how to prevent them. So basically, we are going to go over the cyber attacks that are used by hackers and we are going to tell you how to prevent yourself from those types of attacks. So let's get started with the list. At number 1, we have phishing. Now phishing is a type of attack whereby attackers use social engineering especially through emails to hand over vital information. Hackers send phishing emails with links resembling to those from legitimate organization. Basically, it is a link that seems legit but in reality it's a scam and when you log on to that particular link, you get phished. So how do you prevent yourself from being phished or phishing? Well, you can prevent phishing in an organization through social engineering simulations and training. Basically what you do is that you basically send out sim similar attacks to phishing to your employees and then afterwards you can train them to identify instances of phishing emails and links to the suspicious websites. Number 2 on our list is actually malware. So malware is a form of attack whereby hackers use applications to perform malicious attacks. In a nutshell, it is a software designed to gain access to a computer system and stay there until it is removed. Now malware is a diverse and can be designed for various purposes. Now these purposes can be really daunting. Some are designed to obtain data while others can disrupt an entire system. So how do you protect yourself from malwares? Now there are special software tools for detecting malware. You can rely on those software tools to secure your networks from malware. Apart from these, you can use next gen firewalls and filters so that you can filter your traffic into your network. An antivirus program and anti-spam gateways also help prevent malware from entering your computer system or your network. Number 3 on our list is ransomware. Now ransomware is another form of malware attack where the malicious software attacks your computer system and encrypts the valuable data for ransom. Now one of the most famous ransomware attack was WannaCry and if you have not heard about WannaCry you might want to search for WannaCry ransomware so that would actually show you the capabilities of a ransomware software. Now what a ransomware does is that it blocks access to your computer system also it makes it impossible to use your databases, files or even applications. Now to protect yourself from ransomware. It is best to perform regular backups. Always store data backups on an external device or in the cloud as they are not accessible from your network. Now, if you are attacked, you can wipe your device and restore the backed up data. Besides, it is essential to secure data backups that are inaccessible for encryption or even for deletion. Number 4 on our list is actually DDoS attack. Now, DDoS attack or a distributed denial of service attack is a form of attack whereby the attacker disrupts the normal traffic of a targeted server or a network. Now, this overwhelms the server and prevents users from accessing connected sites or applications. To prevent yourself or your server from a DDoS attack, it is best to install the best firewall and intrusion detection systems. You can also implement server monitoring tools. Number 5 on our list is actually man in the middle attack. Now this is a form of attack where hijacker hijacks a two party transaction. They position themselves in between the two parties, computers or networks and spy and manipulate information that is being transferred between those two parties. To prevent yourself from a man in the middle attack, what you can do is that at best you need to avoid public Wi-Fi connections and any connection without any sort of password protection. And if you communicate over the internet, you need to make sure that the channel that you're using has secure communication protocols. Number 6 on our list is actually an insider attack. Now an insider attack happens when users with the legitimate access to your company system use the privilege to harm your business. Now an insider can be a current user or a previous employee with access to the organization's system. Insider attacks are difficult to detect and thus highly dangerous. To prevent yourself from insider attacks, the best way is through identity and access management. Now, with a proper approach to user identity and access, you can identify user activity within your system and keep a track of the log. What you can do is that you can implement a zero trust architecture or a ZTA to eliminate implicit trust in your business systems. Now, number seven on our list is actually SQL injections. Now, SQL injections work by manipulating the SQL code. The injection can read data or modify the database depending upon the attacker's need. Now, to prevent yourself from the SQL injection, the best way is by creating code that can identify legitimate user inputs. You can also employ a web application firewall to remove malicious SQL queries. Number 8 on our list is actually Trojan. 
Trojan performs all sorts of actions, for example, stealing data to compromising your systems. Ideally, a Trojan is a software or a file designed to trick you. Mostly, Trojans open the entry to your system. To prevent yourself against Trojans, always scrutinize each application within your system and check your app permissions to ensure that you're not allowing malicious application access to your valuable data. Number 9 on our list is DNS spoofing. Now, DNS spoofing is another type of DNS cache poisoning where attackers alter the DNS records to redirect traffic from legitimate websites to fraudulent ones. Basically, DNS spoofing is you getting the wrong IP address of the requested site from the DNS server. Now, to prevent yourself from DNS spoofing, you need to use DNS security extensions or DNS SEC to authenticate DNS entries. At number 10, we have business email compromise. Now, this is a sophisticated scam targeting businesses and individuals. Most BEC attacks use social engineering and impersonation to trick the recipient. Others use domain spoofing and are often difficult to detect. Now, the best way to prevent yourself against a BEC attack is by implementing high-end security controls, especially where information is exchanged. Now, email recipients should also confirm from the sender manually and determine if the requests are legitimate or not. Number 11, we have email account compromise. Now, email account compromise EAC is almost similar to BEC. In this case, the attacker gains control of a legitimate account. The attacker doesn't have to pose as someone else as they have full access to your email and most probably previous conversations as well. Now, to prevent yourself from EAC, you need to heighten the email security. So what you can do is that you can implement email security practices like multi-factor authentication, phishing protection and also using a secure password manager. And another prevention step that you can take is never to use the public Wi-Fi or log into your email using public devices. Number 12 on our list is Zero Day Attack. Now, in a zero day attack, a hacker exploits a vulnerability in software before the vendor or developer can actually address it and launch patches. So basically, hackers are often exploring vulnerabilities in software tools. Now to prevent your software from a zero day attack, what you need to do is that you need to go through vulnerability scanning and penetration testing. Another great way to prevent zero day attacks is through patch management. So as soon as a vulnerability is found, you need to patch that immediately. Number 13 on our list is actually cross site scripting or XSS attack. In an XSS attack, a malicious code is injected into the vulnerable web application. The victim's browser has no way of identifying the malicious script and goes on to executing them. To prevent yourself from this sort of cross-site scripting attack or the XSS attack, it is best to scan any web application for vulnerabilities. And if you find vulnerable spots, patch them immediately. Number 14 on our list is actually brute force attack. Now a brute force attack is a method where hackers try to guess the combination of usernames and password by using a dictionary attack. It is mainly a trial and error method where the hacker tries to crack login credentials one by one. Now to prevent your server or your credentials from a brute force attack, what you can do is that at first you need to increase the password complexity and then you need to implement a multi-factor authentication, encryption and a password hashing. Number 15 is URL Interpretation Attack Now this attack involves the attacker altering the URL content in the browser's location bar. By manipulating the URL parts, the hacker can make this web server deliver fraudulent web pages. To prevent yourself from such an attack, the best practice is to use a web application firewall. Also, in addition to that, you can use an automated website scanner to detect and remove any active infections on your website. Number 16 is an interesting one. It is Crypto Jacking now, cryptojacking is a form of cyber attack involving the unauthorized use of people's devices to mine or steal cryptocurrency. In this case, hacker hijacks the device such as servers, PCs, mobile phones, cloud infrastructures and so much more and then it uses them to mine for crypto coins. Now to prevent your systems from cryptojacking, what you can do is that you can always block JavaScript because most of these applications use JavaScript to perform their execution. And also what you can do is that you can also perform frequent antivirus scans on your system to remove unwanted scripts. Number 17 on our list is actually IoT based attacks. An IoT attack is where attacker breaks into the IoT devices which is Internet of Things devices. They compromise data and networks to steal information. Most IoT devices do not have built-in security solutions to counter these kinds of cyber threats. Now to prevent the IoT threats or IoT based attacks, the best solution is to have an integrated security solution installed or established on your IoT device. Ideally, your IoT device should have integrated solution for visibility and seamless protection across the entire network infrastructure. Number 18 on our list is drive-by attacks. Now this is another malicious script 
that causes the program to download and install itself on a user's device without permission. Oftentimes, drive-by attacks or drive-by download attacks occur when user navigate and browses compromised web pages. Now you can prevent drive-by attacks by navigating to secure websites only. Also what you can do is that you can prevent unwanted downloads by blocking the automatic downloads option on most devices. Number 19 is eavesdropping attack. Now this type of attack occurs when an attack intercepts data in transit between two devices, also known as a snooping or sniffing. Now the main target of this kind of attack are unsecured network communications. You can easily prevent eavesdropping attack by securing your network connection. Truly, it is best to encrypt data in transit to make it unusable unless decrypted by the receiver. Also what you can do is that you can implement network monitoring tools to identify and patch any vulnerabilities that the hacker can exploit. And at last, at number 20, we have botnet attacks. In botnet attack or in botnet, a large group of multiple network connected devices infected with bots are controlled by a single main device by the hacker. Now the hacker uses these devices to perform a string of attacks such as server crashing, malware distribution or brute force and the data is breached. To prevent yourself from botnet attacks, what you need to do is that you need to regain control of the compromised device as soon as possible. And then you need to disable access to the central server that acts as a source of malware. Now if you still want to learn more detail about all of these attacks and their prevention, additionally you can also check out the Office 365 and Active Directory auditing tool known as Infra SOS. Now this Infra SOS helps users confirm their Active Directory and Office 365 users which are compliant and secure from any potential cyber attack. Then simply check the blog which is linked in the description box. And if you have learned anything new in this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.